Hey guys, what's up? Pete's Roving Nerd here. Today we'll be looking at Anbox on the Pine Phone for Post Market OS and Mobian. Let's get into it. Let's start with Post Market OS. Anbox is really easy to install on Post Market OS for the Pine Phone. All you have to do is open a terminal and run apk add Post Market OS hyphen Anbox. This will take a while, so give it a fast second. First time I installed it, it did not work and I had to submit a bug report. But the bug report got fixed overnight. So if this package doesn't work, first try troubleshooting it from the wiki page. And if it still doesn't work, then submit a bug report and it will probably get fixed pretty soon after you submit it. After the bug report got fixed though, it still didn't work. What it did is it got stuck on the loading screen for about a minute and then crashed. All you have to do to fix this is to reboot. Unless it's a different issue than I had. In that case, I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. On first launch, it was on starting for about two minutes, and then you'll notice that a bunch of icons in the FOSS launcher will appear that point to Anbox app. But whenever you open one, you have to wait for that screen again, which is a little bit shorter after the first launch, but it still takes a while. Another issue I ran into is out of the box Wi Fi doesn't work. Now, uh, on the Anbox, wiki page for post market os there is supposed to be a fix where you log into the ambox shell and it, uh, basically reroute the wi-fi to ambox but for whatever reason uh whatever i did it said i had invalid permissions to access the ambox shell so i wasn't able to get wi-fi working one issue i had on ambox with both post market os and mobian is that on fo uh, the bottom bar from fosh and the top bar from fosh would cut off all of the Android apps, which means if there's something you need to access on the bottom of the app, it could be kind of hard. Luckily though, the top of the apps don't get interrupted that much because of the toolbar at the top with your close button and everything that Anbox has. All of the pre-installed stock apps on Post Market OS ran pretty sluggishly through Anbox. Not even the Android settings worked well. So Anbox is pretty slow on Post Market OS. Hopefully this will change in the future as Anbox gets improved. Now let's try Debian Fosh, which has changed its name to Mobian, so in all future videos I will be referring to it as Mobian, even though I have to say that's a terrible name. <laughs> Installing Anbox on Mobian was a bit harder. Basically you have to install some kernel modules, give Anbox an image of Android, install Anbox through apt, and then go into the Anbox shell to enable Wi-Fi. Uh, it was pretty complicated, so I'll put a guide in the description below. On Mobian, Anbox performs much better than it does on Postmarket OS. Now, one thing I did like about Postmarket OS's build of Anbox is after it was pre-installed. However, on Mobian, it is not pre-installed and you have to install it yourself. At the moment, FJRD launches, but it crashes when you click on an app. So I ended up installing some apps by SSHing into the Pine Phone, we getting the APKs, and ADB installing the APKs onto Anbox. Now let's try out some apps. The game 1010 downloads and installs, but it's just a black screen when you watch it. New Pipe, the YouTube client, does load, but it cannot connect to the internet for some reason, despite being the internet being enabled because I can access internet in Android. And every other app I've tried either crashes or gets stuck on a splash screen. So most apps do not work on Anbox in Mobian, although the stock apps work at least, and they perform much better than they did in Postmarket OS. Now let's talk about Ubuntu Touch. UbiPorts does natively support Anbox on six Android phones, but the Pine phone is not one of those phones that is supported out of the box according to the docs. I also asked in the forum and got a no. So, Anbox doesn't officially work on the Pine phone, but I'm sure there is some way to install it that isn't supported, but uh, I haven't figured that out yet, but if I do figure it out, I will make a separate video because I am still interested in getting Anbox working on UbiPorts on the Pine phone. Anyways, that's the whole video. Uh, Anbox does kind of work on the Pine phone, but the experience is pretty bad at the moment. But the Pine phone software is moving at an extremely fast pace, so hopefully in about four or five months, I will be able to actually use Anbox and test out some working apps. Other than that though, thanks for watching this video, thanks to patrons Michelle Vantino, Sam Covet, and Jim Peter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down any suggestions you have on what I should do on the Pine Phone next. Bye!